guys. So today I wanted to do a um, foundation routine for you guys. So since it's spring and summer coming up, I wanted to give you guys what I do for to get my glow. Um, the glow, the little bit of glow that I do have. I have nothing on my face right now, so I'm pretty red. Um, I have um, acne scars. I have acne still. I have some pregnancy stuff. I mean, I just have a lot of stuff going on, so I usually wouldn't film with nothing on, but I wanted to do this so you guys can see how I do my foundation routine, especially with spring and summer coming up in a glow. So let's get started. So what I usually do first, depending on how red my skin is, but I will color correct my redness and with for red, you would color correct with green. And this is the next um, green color corrector concealer. I'm going to, I take a beauty blender and I get it really, really damp, really, really damp. And then you squeeze it out. So I'm gonna put a little bit of this on because it's pretty thick. So I'm just gonna put on through my more red spots or my acne, like down here. And then I'm gonna take the back of my beauty blender and blend it out. It is a thick formula, so I'm gonna look into um, other color correctors. Again, you're seeing all my flaws, but that's the magic of makeup. That's why I love makeup so much because you don't have to walk out the door every day with this skin. They're gone. So after you pound your face out, because that's what I feel like I do every single time, I reduce some of my redness. So now what I do is for spring and summer, I usually will put a cream, uh, cream highlight on my skin before I put my foundation on. I just like the look it gives and then I put a powder on top of it. So this is totally preference up to you, but I just like this look. So I have this Wet n Wild Marigold Rounds highlighter. It's a cream highlighter. Again, Wet n Wild, killing it. It's bringing me back to my 90s vibes, but I mean, their stuff is really good. You can put it on your finger like so, and you can tap it on your skin or just to get stuff done. I forgot to turn my phone off, sorry. So I'm gonna put this around my orbital bone. I like the way it looks once I press it in with my finger for the heat of your own skin. So I just keep putting this, and I stop usually about halfway in the middle of my eye down. I don't bring it all the way in. So I just like the look right here when you're smiling and you have a glow. And then I put a little bit on my nose and just a little bit on the cupid's bow, just for underneath, because I really don't have a cupid's bow, so I'm gonna make, make believe I have one. Okay, so I can put the cream on, and now I'm going to do a little bit more color correcting, because as you can see throughout here, I am a little green, and so I'm gonna take a brush, this is an Ulta brush, and I think it's a concealer brush, it's pretty old, and I have this NYX, um, conceal correct contour kit so I'm gonna take a little bit of the pinky peach color and I'm gonna place it in here to cancel out my green right now I'm really like to mix I always like to mix my foundations but right now more than ever I'm mixing my foundations so like I'm a combo skin, so my T-zone is oily, the outer perimeter is probably normal to dry, but I love to have um, matte foundation throughout my T-zone. I'm just big on that. The L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte in color 102, I'm going to put that, I'm going to dot some in my T-zone. And put this, dab it. And I like a little bit more coverage throughout my, my T-zone because that's where a lot of my acne scars are. So I want more coverage there. And then I like to have a glow on the outside. So I'm gonna use Face and Body um, from MAC and this on C1. And then I'm going to put the Face and Body on the outer perimeter of my face. I love Face and Body. I was not a big fan of it when I first started working at MAC just because I like heavy coverage, but the older I get, the more I love this, and I like mixing it with my matte foundations. 
So now I'm gonna take my beauty blender, my damp beauty blender. I'm gonna pound my face in again, my skin. And the face of body is a dewy finish. It's a lightweight coverage, a dewy finish. So for right now, for spring and summer, it's great to get that look you want, get to get that glowy look you want. I just, I sweat a lot. I, I sweat like a male. No, legit, I sweat like a male, especially after having a baby. I get very oily fast so it's and it's not cute so I need a matte product or a primer or a matte foundation in my t-zone so just keep pouncing your face so I have the most coverage throughout here because that's where I want it and then I'm going to have a lighter coverage out here So I like those that combo. I like the matte and the glowy, the matte and the dewy finish. So now I'm going to put some concealer on. And I love my um the Maybelline Age Rewinds. And I am in fair. Um I love it because it has that little sponge on the end. So I put this all over. And then I put it on my eyelid to cancel out the color. I basically just bathe in this stuff. But you want all this, the front area right here, highlighted and brought forward. So you are gonna want a lighter color. And I bring it to the edge of my nose as well. So then I take my beauty blender, the other side. And I cancel out the color on top of my eyelid. See how that brightens it up throughout there? I love this stuff. I love it. It's light. It's pretty. It's affordable. It's, it's just all around. It's awesome. Awesome. So now I am going to set my concealer so it doesn't move, so I don't become a sweat mess, a sweaty mess. So I take my Beauty Blender, and I actually use the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish, and I use in Light Plus. This is an older one. I will take the top of my Beauty Blender, and then I put it underneath. So, so your concealer doesn't move, especially with the warmer weather coming up. You don't want your concealer. A lot of people come in and ask, like, my concealer moves or my eyeliner moves, and um, I'm oily under there and this will help it. So making sure you put concealer, making sure you put powder on top of your concealer will help your concealer stay, but also it can help the powder, any powder underneath your eyes or eyeliner to stay in place. So I recommend this. Okay, and then I'm gonna put a little bit just on top to set my concealer on top of my eyelids. So I'll put it like this. And I like the finish that it brings too. I love this stuff, the mineralize. It just gives a really pretty finish. And now what I like to do is I'm going to put a highlighter on top of my skin now. Now that my foundation is complete, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna go back over and actually put a I'm gonna put a little bit more of the cream highlighter over here. You know, once you put the powder on, you're not supposed to put any cream products. So I'm going to put it more towards the back where I didn't put the powder because I like that look back here when the light hits. Put a little bit more. Just, like I said, I drenched myself in cream highlighter. I love this stuff because it's a no fail and it doesn't move. I'm going to go back over with the tapered brush. It's a Luxie tapered brush I have here. <clears throat> And I'm going to grab any highlighter you want. But I like more the peachy pink tones with my skin. Put it back on top of your cream highlighter. And I bring it here to about the middle of my eye. Because I like that look when you smile and... And you have highlighter in front there, but don't bring it all the way to your nose. And then I'm going to go, just for sake of this video, I'm going to put some bronzer on. 
My favorite bronzer, my Hula bronzer. Oh, it's gone. So I'm gonna contour just a little bit. And if you guys want like a, a full on highlight contour video, let me know. Or let me know anything that you guys are looking to find. Anything you guys want more information on, I can talk, sorry. Just let me know in the comments. And I will get to them during Caden's nap time. Okay, so I contoured just a little bit. I don't want anything too heavy for summer. And then I'm just going to go over with um, Global Glow from MAC, which is a mineralized skin finish. It's a pretty color like that. And I'm just going to put a little bit more color in my cheeks. Because I really, and it's, I love this because Global Glow, it has a glow in it. And it has color. So I like to put that, just brush it, my forehead. You can see, like, I love that, that glow in my hair, my hair and my face that won't move. Perfect. See, it's a really pretty, it's a really pretty color. I love global glow. Okay, so I have my skin this is like the base of how I do my skin in like spring, summer, especially right now. And so I can get that glow and I'll put like a little bit of blush on because I like the pinky, peachy, rosy cheeks right now. So I put a little bit of blush and then my eyeshadow, eyebrows, all that good stuff. But I just wanted to give you a little um, quick go through, quick talk through um, <laughs> of how I do my skin right now, my foundation with getting the glow. So I hope this was helpful. Let me know. Um, I will talk to you guys later. Have a good one.